Hi guys, Pete the Wargamer here, back with another speed painting guide. In this video, I'm going to be continuing my Chaos Space Marine speed painting tutorials by showing you how to quickly paint the Emperor's Children. And, as always, I'll be using the Citadel range of paints to do so. So first, let's discuss some key points of speed painting. Limit your colour palette. Keeping the number of paints you're using to a minimum will reduce the number of steps. You'll find that some colour schemes are better suited to speed painting than others, particularly those that use darker colours. Paint in batches. Painting 10 or 20 miniatures at a time will allow you to get into a rhythm whilst painting them. Painting every mini in your batch before moving on to the next colour will allow you to develop your technique and hasten your painting. Keep things simple. If your main focus is gaming, then those finely detailed highlights you spent a long time on will not be quite as visible once on the tabletop. So save your detailed painting to individual characters or centerpiece miniatures, and just focus on getting the basic colours down on the rest of your army. So with the key points covered, let's apply them to some Chaos Space Marines. Before we can start to paint, you will first need to prime your miniatures so that the later layers of paint adhere to the plastic better. This also gives us the opportunity to start painting by opting for a black primer. This black starting colour will serve as the base colour for the armour, as well as working as the shadows that will be found in the recessed areas. This helps to boost the contrast, making those details stand out, without the need for a wash of non oil. For our first step, we are going to be applying a dry brush of Mechanica Standard Grey over the entirety of the armour. This paint will accumulate on the raised edges, helping to give the black armour some definition. Dry brushing involves loading up a fairly large brush with some paint and removing some of the excess onto a piece of tissue or paper, until only a small amount of paint remains in the bristles. With your dry brush ready, lightly drag it across the whole miniature. The paint will start to accumulate onto the hard edges, leaving only a thin line of grey. As you can see, this is a very quick and easy step to perform. Be sure to rinse out your brushes after painting four or five of your miniatures in your batch, as this will help to prevent accumulation of paint in your bristles and will keep your paintbrush workable for longer. Next, we can start to apply a little colour to our Empress Children model, but applying a bright pink over black will be a little tricky. Therefore, we need to first apply some Celestra Grey, thinned with a little water. Mix in water in small amounts until your consistency is similar to what you see here. Unlike my other videos, this time we need to thin the paint to make it easy to apply, rather than just giving us a good, smooth coverage. We will be applying our Celestra Grey to some of the armour panels. You don't need to tackle every single one and they don't need to be uniformly applied either. On this model I'm painting the helmet, right shoulder pad, power pack vent, as well as the left lower leg and also the wrist. Remember to keep the trim black over these areas. Apply your thin paint over these areas but don't worry about going right up to the edges, making sure you leave the recesses dark to help boost the contrast and enhance those details. Now that we have a lighter base colour on some of the armour panels, we should be able to much more easily apply some Emperor's Children, thinned in the same way as we did previously. Use this paint to paint over anywhere that we painted with Celestia Grey, resulting in a bright pink that's perfect for the Emperor's Children. Next, we'll be returning to dry brushing again in order to pick out some of the metal areas, and I've opted to use Lead Balcher for this step. The metal areas include the bolter, as well as a few other small details on the backpack and the armour. For these smaller areas, use a small brush and lightly drag the bristles along the edges of those metallic areas to create a quick highlight of silver. Using the same dry brushing technique as before, this time we want to pick out some of the golden details on the model using some retributor armour. On this particular model, these areas include the detailing around the eye on the knee pad, bolter and backpack. Other areas that you can tackle are the horns on the helmet, as well as the trim on some of the black armour plates. Like with the pink, this needn't be applied to every panel, just where you see fit. After this step, be sure to thoroughly clean out your brushes and change your water to avoid any cross-contamination of metal flakes into your other paints. For the leather parts of the model, such as the pistol holsters and belts, apply a quick layer of dryad bark, adopting a similar technique to that used when applying the Celestia Grey. Using some thinned out Rakar flesh, I will next be picking out any cloth that may feature on your miniature, such as that around the holster and also the section hanging from the waist. Remember to keep those recesses dark in order to create the effect of shading. The final step in painting the Emperor's Children is to pick out any eyes or lenses on the model with some moot green. This bright green may require a couple of layers to get a good bright colour, but once applied, it will give you a great contrasting colour against the pink. And here we have the completed Chaos Space Marine painted in an Emperor's Children scheme. 
I finish things off by creating a simple basing scheme using some textured paints and some dry brushing. While this particular model didn't have any bare skin, you could easily tackle flesh by applying some rat skin flesh in the same way as we applied those last few layers. This single miniature took me around 20 minutes to paint, but this per miniature time could be sped up further if you were painting in a larger batch of models. So a full 10 man squad could be painted in around two and a half hours. While this paint job certainly won't win any awards, it's a good way of quickly getting your force painted up. After all, it's much better to play with a fully painted army than a tide of bare grey plastic. If you enjoyed the speed painting style of video and would like to see me give the same treatment to other miniatures, do let me know in the comments below. You can find a full list of all the paints that I've used in this tutorial in the description below, along with any other equipment that I've used to create this video. If you have any questions or would just like to chat with others who enjoy my channel, I've set up a Discord server which you can find a link to in the description below. So the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching and goodbye.